Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about my keyboard, which you guys ask about a lot in chat, so I figured I'd put a video together about the frequently asked questions about it and show you what's going on there. So we'll actually jump to a different camera view that we don't usually show on YouTube, but here we go. This is, this is my keyboard, or at least the one that I use on stream nowadays most often. Um, this is the Kinesis Freestyle Pro, which is a split keyboard. And yes, you know, it's, it's it's split, it's different, it's not quite the keyboard that you would expect. Uh, this keyboard was sent to me by Kinesis uh, because they were like, hey, we noticed you have a, a keyboard cam on stream. We'd love to send you a keyboard and have you try out one of ours. Uh, and I was like, sure, sounds cool. I've always wanted to try a split keyboard. Um, let's start with the first question that people ask, which is, what is your typing speed on this keyboard? And I'm actually a little bit slower typing on a split keyboard than I am typing on a traditional keyboard. And my, my traditional typing speed is right around, I, I peak at around 130-ish words per minute. On this keyboard, I can usually hit 110 to 120. Um, so a, a little bit of a speed decrease. And I think that's just because I'm still not completely used to this keyboard. Uh, the other question that I get is, how good at typing do I have to be in order to use this keyboard? And I'm going to be completely honest with you, I do not properly touch type. I'm pretty close to proper touch typing, but I, I cheat a little bit. Um, I use, let's see, these these seven fingers when typing and none of the other ones. So spacebar, everything with the right hand, and then these are for my left hand. So when, when I type, I really, I really just use these keys and like, you know, dance around a little bit over here. Um, so I'm not a perfect typer, and when I first got this out of the box, I found two major ways that I cheated at typing. And one was while I typed my own name, in fact. Um, I used to reach over to hit the Y key with my left hand, and so, you know, that doesn't work on a split keyboard, you can't really, you can't really do that. But I was, I was handling the Y key with my left hand, and the other one, and I still haven't been able to shake this one properly, is when I type backslash N, I would reach over, hit the backslash with my middle finger here, and then hit the N key with my pointer finger, uh, which, you know, would be right here, but now it's way over here, so I can't, can't really type backslash N. Um, but it, it did kind of force me to be a lot more correct in my typing because I couldn't cheat in those same ways. But, you know, I, I still cheat with these fingers because <laughs> I'm not perfect. Um, another thing that gets asked a lot is what switches do you have on this keyboard? Uh, this, this keyboard has reds, which are quiet and light, if I recall correctly, cherry, cherry MX threads. Um, I, my, my preferred switches tend to be more tactile and a little bit heavier. Uh, my other keyboard is a set of clears, which I really like. Um, I'm okay with these reds. They aren't, they aren't my favorite switch, but you know, they, they get the job done. Um, another question that gets asked is why uh, what, it, why would you split a keyboard? What's the point of that? The idea is meant to be ergonomic. The basic idea is that your arms are kind of naturally at shoulder width apart. And if I were to, you know, set those down directly on my keyboard, you'll see that my, my keyboard halves are at shoulder width apart. I would actually, you know, more correctly spread them a little bit further. So I'm not, not, you know, Aimed, aimed in as much, and I can more naturally put my my hands at shoulder width apart. But then that doesn't look nice on the camera. Uh, but yeah, the idea is that your hands are at a shoulder width apart. My keyboard is also propped up at a 15 degree angle. It's kind of hard to see on on this camera angle, but my hands are actually more like this on the keyboard, and this gives kind of your arms a more natural resting position. Now, personally, I've never really struggled with ergonomics problems on keyboards. I've been you know typing at a computer for what 20 20 plus years at this point and i haven't really had ergonomics issues but it's it's you know a decent idea to have ergonomics anyway um yeah i say as i'm like slightly slouching in my chair and <laughs> have terrible posture um but yeah i think that covers most of the questions that i get asked about this keyboard also if you're on twitch there are special emotes for both halves of the keyboard so if you want to if you want to play with those uh, i'd encourage that um, but other than that, I think that's all I've got. I'll have links in the description if you want to check out this keyboard for yourself. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. But thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.